plex correction factor for laminar pipe flow. So this is the schematic you can see. Um, this is the pipe cross-sectional view. Uh, this is the radius R. Um, here you can see it is a fully developed flow profile. So this dotted line is showing the control volume. This black dotted line, this is the average velocity. So you already know why we usually use the average velocity for this sort of problems. So um, in this question, it says consider a laminar flow through a very long straight section of around five. And uh, the velocity profile is like this. So here, this is the average velocity. You can see this average velocity. Or is this radius, radius of the pipe. So, um, yeah, so B is the average velocity. So we need to calculate the momentum plex corrections factor. Momentum plex corrections factor, we usually define this is beta, right? We know from the theories. And it also says, uh, you can see here, calculate the momentum plex corrections factor through a cross section of the five for the case in which pipe flow represents an outlet of the control volume as is case in this figure. So that's the outlet. So now um, we can write down just a couple of assumptions like what we did every time. So we can say this is a steady flow, this is steady and incompressible flow. Okay, so that's the flow type and the control volume slice we have um, this is actually through the pipe normal to the uh, pipe axis so i'm not just going to write that on but as it is a circular pipe we already know the area for a circular pipe it is pi r square so that's the total area if we actually want to get the differential cross-sectional area then what we need to do we need to just integrate it so it's kind of uh, the differentiation of pi r square or phi differentiation of r square so it should be r square so we can say this pi into 2 r dr or in other words we can say 2 pi r dr okay 2 pi r dr so this is we can say the differential cross-sectional area okay so now um we know we know the 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 momentum plus corrections factor so momentum plus corrections factor beta this is equal we already know this is on over ac integration of the velocity over the average velocity just the square and dac we have the dac there so actually uh, we calculated the dac here 2 pi r dr okay and we already know the velocity profile is this it's given so here we will substitute the blue uh, the v this dac okay and the area the cross-sectional area okay so what we can write down um we can say the area is pi r square this is the uh, you know the integration then the velocity v it is given you know in the questions to v that means the average velocity over one minus small r over capital r okay and here we have the velocity the average so that's a square and dac we know 2 pi r dr you understand what i mean i just substitute the value this it is equal b dac and we, we already know the area so this average velocity this average velocity we can cancel it out right so what uh, it will be is you see this is 2 so this will be 2 squared that means 4 so we can write down that 4 out of this calculation this is 4 pi r squared integration of 1 minus small r capital r this is a square into 2 pi r dr okay so that uh, we did uh, this is simple calculations now if we say this is equal y 1 minus capital r we're trying to make this calculation simple okay 
because otherwise we can't do this integration so we said this is actually y we introduce a new variable now if we integrate differentiate differentiate it then what we'll get from here is uh, here r you know this capital r this is actually the radius this is the constant but this is small r it is changing for this depending on this flow uh, profile where y is the variable so if we integrate it so it will be d o if we differentiate it d o y into differentiation of one minus small r over capital r squared so d y it will be one is constant so differentiation is zero minus r square it will be two r d r over it is r square so this is the d y value okay two r d r into r square now when we're talking about the integration we have a control volume so we need the limits uh, because this section it is a uh, long straight section so we'll you know make some limits and try to make the problem simple so what we'll do here is uh, let's say now we have a new variable that is y so if y equals 0 okay if y equals 0 then what will be the um, value of the r so if y equals 0 so then then you see this expressions 1 minus small r over capital r it is equal y in other word uh, we can say this is 0 y equals 0 so here we can say this capital r minus small r over capital r squared equal 0 or we can say capital r squared minus small r squared equal 0 or we can say capital r equal a small r so what we said if y equal 0 then small r it is equal capital r that's a new um, variable we are getting that's the limit actually and if um, you know the the value r equal 0 okay so We can write it here if y equal 1 then again we have y equal 1 minus small r over capital R right so if y equal um, 1 all right so now what we can say is um, when y equal 0 we got r equal small r a small r equal capital R and now if y equal 1 so from this calculations we'll get I'm not showing you here because it's uh, the length of the video is increasing so then it will be just 1 the r it, it will be equal 1 y equal 1 then r equal 1 you can do the calculations later on we need to do some more calculations here so now if we substitute all these values from previous um, calculations we know beta equal 4 pi r square 0 if we take this is the center this is 0 and this side it is r so we can say this is 0 to r okay 1 minus small r square over capital r square square into 2 pi r dr okay so uh, here what we'll do is um, we will write down this is equal y so let's say um, if i write it down like this 4 over pi r square here when the r equal 0 then we got y equal 1 so it was r equal 0 and r equal r so when r equal 0 y equal on we'll say it is 1 when uh, you see r equal capital R then we have y equal 0 so when r equal capital R y equal 0 so now the new upper and the lower limit it will be just lower limit 1 upper limit 0 1 minus small r into capital R um, we said here oops we said here this is equal y 
so substitute it is y square and now we have 2 pi r dr although some um, more uh, simplifications if I say this is 4 into integration upon to 0 y square into 2 pi r dr over pi r square let's say I put this pi r square here and if I multiply a minus sign here and minus sign here then you see this minus this minus it will be just plus we can say this pi pi we can cancel it out then it will be 2 negative 2 r dr over r square you will see here negative you see negative 2 r dr over r square equal dy so that means in this term we can write it as dy so it will be like negative 4 1 0 this is y square dy okay so now it is y square dy if you integrate it so then beta it will be just negative 4 into y square dy means y cube over 3 you know the integration formula I believe all of you know so this is 1 0 so now you just need to substitute this uh, value like at first 0 y equal 0 then y equal 1 so when y equal 0 then it will be 0 minus y equal 1 so that means it is uh, 1 over 3 so that means it is 4 over 3 beta so beta the corrections factor the momentum flask corrections factor we got this is actually 4 over 3 so that's the you know the value for the laminar flow so we have calculated it um, for the outlet but um, you know we may uh, the s obtain the same results uh, if we had the the cross section of the pipe as an inlet to the control volume anyway so the question was calculate the beta that means the momentum plus corrections factor so what I need to I think this is a straightforward calculations but uh, some of you may confused here so we introduce this uh, 1 minus r square equal over r square equal y this is a new variable and initially the limit it was you know the lower limit 0 here at the center and this is capital R so that means r equal small 0 you know r equal 0 and a small r equal capital R now when you know we put uh, r equal capital r in this expression so we got y equal zero when we put r equal zero in this relations we got um, you know y equal one okay you see here if we put uh, i think i was writing here if we put y, you know r equal uh, zero i think i did it opposite way. if r equal zero so then this is zero so 0 over something means 0 that means y equal 1 yeah I think I initially I said something in opposite anyways just we need to put r equal 0 then it will get y equal 1 and then we will substitute this values here and we will finally get the value beta equal this